Hi guys, here is Julie from Mindigo Handmade Design. Welcome to my channel, to all of you who are new here and welcome back if you've already been here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this doily. So to make this doily, you are only going to need a few materials. So I have here five different color. There are 100% um, cotton, it's from Schachenmeier, Catania, 50 grams. Um, it says to use a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter hook. It's a size 2 yarn or fine. In addition to the yarn, I'm going to use a 3 mm crochet hook. You are also going to need yarn needle and a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, my color A and make a magic ring like so. And inside of the ring, we need to make double crochet. So this is going to be the first round. We are going to have <coughs> nine rounds in total. So chain three, this counts as your first double crochet. And in the ring, you are going to make a total of 10 more double crochets. At the end of your first round, you are going to have 11 double crochets in total. At the end of the round, you are going to close your magic ring, give a little nice pull, and then slip stitch to your third chain. Chain one, and cut your color A. Pull through. And now pick your color B. I'm going to take this one and make a slip knot. Second round, rejoin to your stitch with a single crochet. This is going to be your first stitch, then you are going to make inside of the same stitch to double crochets and another single crochet in the same stitch. Now go to your next stitch and repeat single crochet to double crochets and single crochet and this is going to be your repeat till the end of the second round so single crochet two double crochets and single crochet I'll meet you back at the end of the second round at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your first single crochet chain one and cut your yarn and take your color C round three make first a slip knot and then you are going to rejoin your yarn in between your single crochets So rejoin right here and now you are going to chain four. This counts as a double crochet and as a one chain space in between and make one double crochet in the same space. Now go to your next um, space in between these single crochets right here so you are skipping all this yarn over and between your single crochets you are going to make 
one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet in the same space. Again, yarn over in between your single crochets from the previous round, make double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Repeat till the end of the round. At the end of the round, you are going to slip stitch in your third chain, chain one, cut your yarn and pull through. Now we are going to turn our work like so. And now we are going to work on this side. So as you can see, this second um, round here, it's going to pop out. Okay, so take your color D, make a slip knot, and now round four, we are going to <coughs> rejoin our yarn right here in between these double crochets, chain three, this is going to be your first double crochet and in the same one chain space you are going to make a four more double crochets so you are going to have a total of five double crochets with this chain three so one two three four five now you are going to chain one and go to your next one chain space and make five double crochets two three four and five and again chain one and to your next one chain space right here five double crochets this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the round at the end of the round, you are going to slip stitch to your third chain, chain one, and cut your yarn. For round five, I'm going to take my color A, make a slip knot, and we are going to rejoin in this one chain space like so now you are going to chain five this counts as a double crochet and there is two chain space in between and in the same one chain space make one double crochet Now you are going to chain two, yarn over and then go to your next one chain space and make double crochet, chain two and another double crochet in the same one chain space. Now you are going to chain two to separate this V stitch right here and then go to your next one chain space and make double crochet, chain two and double crochet in the same one chain space chain two and repeat till the end of the round at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your third chain now we are not going to cut our color um, a so you can pull up your loop high or you can put a stitch marker in this in there so that you are not going to lose your loop so I'm just going to pull my loop high like so and leave it there now you are going to take your color D 
Um, no, your color E. And for round six, make a slip knot and we are going to rejoin in this uh, two chain space here in our V stitch basically and then chain three this counts as your first double crochet and in the same two chain space make four, um, five more double crochets so you are going to have a total of six double crochets one two three four five and six and now you are going to chain one and go to your next V stitch in this space and make six double crochets three four and five chain one to separate yarn over and to your next v stitch make six double crochets so this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the round at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your third chain chain one and cut your yarn okay now for round um, seven we are going to take our loop here so go from the front of your work and pick up your loop so you are going to chain five this counts as a double crochet and a two chain space in between. Now yarn over and we are going to make one double crochet right here, down here. So in your um, fifth row, make one double crochet. So we are going to work around this two chain space and around this one chain space now you are going to chain two and in between your third and your fourth double crochet from the previous round you are going to make one single crochet chain two and now yarn over and we are going to work around this two chain space and this one chain space right here so make double crochet chain two and another double crochet now chain two and a single crochet in between your stitches chain two double crochet around these spaces here chain two and another double crochet down here chain two single crochet between your third and your fourth um, double crochet chain two and this is going to be your pattern repeat all the way around and I'll meet you back once I'm at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you are going to slip stitch to your third chain, chain one and cut. Now I'm going to take my color D and make a slip knot and this is going to be round eight so we are going to rejoin our new color 
got one of these single crochets right here with a single crochet like so and now we are going to make treble crochets so for this you are going to yarn over twice and we are going to work in this two chain space here and make a total of seven treble crochets so i have one two three four five six and seven and now we are going to single crochet on top of the single crochet from the previous round and again in this V stitch right here we are going to make seven treble crochets two three four five six and seven and single crochet on top of the single crochet repeat till the end of the round at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your first single crochet chain one and cut and now for round nine um, I'm going to take hmm my color B and make a slip knot We are going to rejoin in the single crochet from the previous round and now you are going to chain six this counts as a double crochet and as a three chain space in between yarn over and in the same single crochet make another double crochets so we are going to have again these uh, v-stitches now you are going to chain two and in your fourth treble crochet from the previous round so this is one two three and four you are going to make one single crochet chain three and another single crochet all in the same stitch now chain two yarn over and then go to your next single crochet from the previous round and make your V stitch with double crochet chain three and another double crochet all in the same stitch chain two and in your fourth treble crochet from the previous round make one single crochet chain three and another single crochet in the same stitch now chain two and make your V stitch on top of your single crochet from the previous round chain two single crochet in your fourth treble crochet chain three and single crochet in the same stitch this is going to be your repeat at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch to your third chain chain one and cut your yarn Now go ahead and weave in all of your loose ends and pluck your doily and decorate your home.
so guys i'm at the end of my tutorial now thank you all for watching and for joining me today i hope this was helpful and you had fun in the meanwhile i wish you all happy crocheting and till next time bye bye